We have been following the journey of the Afghan combat interpreter turned rideshare driver here in Las Vegas as he has been fighting to get his wife out of the country. Well, tonight it is good news. She is here along with five other people. I am nothing but risk and danger to her. That is what HK told us one month ago as he was desperately trying to find a way to get his wife out of Afghanistan. Now that danger is behind them celebrated with a long embrace and roses at McCarran International Airport. We uh, were able to uh, save uh, our team of six, which included a three female, two male, and a baby boy. And one of those female were pregnant as well. So, and they are related to special operations. HK assembled a team here in Vegas, former special operations interpreters and active military and veterans that use connections to get the group out of the country and onto a plane to Kuwait just a day before the deadly attack on the Kabul airport. They ended up at Fort McCoy in Wisconsin, where members of the new nonprofit formed by HK flew to pick them up. About three hours before they were touching down here in Vegas, I heard that uh, I got the news that, uh, that I lost my father-in-law, my wife's father. Her father, still in Afghanistan, died of a heart attack. While she grieves, HK continues to work helping others. His newly formed nonprofit, Freedom Support Alliance, with a physical office here in Las Vegas, is helping Afghan refugees resettle here in the valley. They expect potentially thousands who escaped the war-torn country. This is a time that we need to have their back. A lot of us, we have family members left in Afghanistan under terrorists, and we're going through the hardest days of our life. They're just as American as I am. Robert Pagel, a veteran with Army Special Forces and a Green Beret, served a number of tours in Afghanistan from 2008 to 2014. Now he is part of the Freedom Support Alliance, continuing his fight with this humanitarian mission. These people that are coming into the U.S., these are people that bled right next to me, shoulder to shoulder. I watched a friend of mine die um, while I carried him uh to a helicopter to get him out. And this was an Afghan. This was, this was not an American uh, that died for us. In this group of new Las Vegans, Zach and his wife and child. And uh, me, him and Rob, we were on the same unit. Zach is already feeling at home, sporting a VGK hat. I feel really happy that now we are safe and you know, all living here. He will be employed at the nonprofit's new office, helping others who escaped Afghanistan resettle here. They did their best till we got here, and we I'm very thankful of them, you know. Uh, I'll never forget this. And the nonprofit is trying to find jobs as well as housing, and they will teach all of those new residents about American culture and also finances. Their website is now live. That is freedomsupportalliance.org. They say that they are looking for any help that they can get at this point. Reporting live tonight, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local. Las Vegas.